What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, just me again. That's it. But I'm here to talk about something new that came up to me about all this stuff with the Memphis cops and the police chief. It just don't seem right. Like, it's a lot more going on to this. And like I said, even with the actual fighting or what happened, I mean, the, the beating, it didn't go down right. It always said it seemed like it may have had something to do with, a, with, with something else personal. And to me, I say personal, like, like knew some woman or something like that. The young man might have knew a date or whatever, but come to find out some rumors out there. And it's allegedly that uh, the young man Terrell may have been dating or messing with the, one of his kids' mothers. They work at the same place. So that was a connection that they work in the same building and just so happened this cop is here laying hands on. All right. Now, what's really going to come out and her ass going to get fired, that police chief. She was fired back in 2008 down in Atlanta for trying to cover up a um, sex crime by one of her sergeants. So the guy's wife came to her. They must all work there. I don't know, some shit like the way it's reported. Um, to ask her to help do whatever. So she tried to get the investigators to back off it. And pretty much got her ass in hot water for it. Because the dude ended up, they found out he had all this child pornography and um, he was seen in pictures with underage girls. All kind of stuff, a mess. You know, he plead guilty and all this. When once all that came out, they booted her ass out. But she ended up in Memphis. The new girl. All this praise, the first black woman, blah, 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 in Memphis to hold a position like this. And, and that's why I say we should get away from all this, all this fucking praise. Because <laughs> it come back and bite your ass now. So now, this shit gonna come out. I'm waiting for it to hit the news. I went online and found it. So, and I'm gonna put it in here. So I'm gonna put it in here in between me talking this. But yeah, all this is coming out now. Okay, so this police chief down there in Memphis, police chief Sarah Lynn, what's that, Davis? She was fired from a previous Atlanta job after a botched sex, sex crime probe. Now, how did she end up in Memphis as a police chief with something like this on her record? So who, explain this to me. See, this is why we keep ending up with bad cop, bad cop. Because now you put a bad cop in charge of more bad cops. So now you understand the language of effing up. You know what I'm saying? So why, why is this even going down? Why no one even checked into this? Because all it took me was a quick Google and this shit came up. I mean, it was just too easy. You know what I'm saying? So let's see, what, 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 what was the thing, man? She was fired from Atlanta Police Department in 2008 for alleged involvement in a sex crime investigation into the husband of an Atlanta police sergeant. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Hmm. So you trying to help cover another police officer's sex crime. What the heck? Did y'all know that? And see, and this is why I say we have, we got some problems going on here. And this case has a lot of different things going on and um, they're not coming out like it should. Okay, let's see. Two detectives accused Davis of telling them not to investigate Terrell Marion Crane, who was married to Sergeant Tanya Crane 
after the department obtained photos of him with underage girls. Whoa. Federal grand jury later indicted Terrell Crane on child pornography. Wow. He pleaded guilty to one count of child pornography in 2009, the newspaper reported. Okay. There you have it, folks. She was trying to help cover a sex crime one of her sergeants was doing. Wow. Ain't that something? And got demoted and to demoted to lieutenant. I think she was captain there, demoted lieutenant, and then later fired once all this came out. And she ended up in Memphis. So no wonder her task force is jacked up. So I'm going to leave it right here for now. I'm going to put a little clip in there of me talking about it. And uh, you guys pay attention and stay tuned. All right. So make sure you hit that notification so you can get the next one. Hit that subscribe, like the video, because I'm coming back with this because this shit just don't sound right. All right. So this is JP, Mr. Nobody. I'm chilling in my vibes. Peace.